welcome to Rocksteady Studios in the very first episode of Arkham Insider. This is your opportunity to join the team at Rocksteady as we close out creation of Batman Arkham Knight. This is our final milestone for Arkham Knight. Everyone's worked so hard this month, and every month we have a milestone, and every month we say thank you to our team for working so hard. One of the ways we do that is that I cook everyone breakfast. Awesome, where do you want them? Uh, Anywhere? Yep. Sure? Yeah. I haven't killed anyone yet. <laughs> so right here, right now, at Rocksteady Studios, we're gonna take a deep dive into the All Who Follow You trailer. I'm joined by Martin and Adam on the world's most comfortable couch. We're gonna be giving you guys some Rocksteady insight into this trailer, shot by shot, frame by frame. Let's have a look. Commissioner Gordon has been there with Batman right from the opening scenes of Batman Arkham Asylum. A lot has changed for those two uh, over the course of the, the trilogy. What's it been like writing for Commissioner Gordon in Batman Arkham Knight? So the great thing about writing for Gordon in Arkham Knight is we have this uh, dynamic of character relationships between Gordon, uh, his daughter Barbara, who yeah. works for Batman as Oracle. Yeah. There's an interesting sort of triangular relationship there. Because um, Gordon doesn't know that his daughter is working on the sly for Batman. Absolutely. So there's so, deceit and deception going on. So there's deceit and deception. Uh, Obviously, Gordon's one of Batman's oldest allies, yeah. but there's this secret between them. Uh, Batman's been working with Oracle for some time now. Yeah. Um, that all comes to a head in Arkham Knight. Good, let's go. The people of Gotham need you. What's it like creating a scene like this where you've got Batman on the deck, Scarecrow is completely dominating him in this scene. Is this a mocap scenario? How would you go about creating something like this? So one of the great things about Rocksteady is we've got our own in-house mocap studio, which means we can shoot and direct shots like this. We can get direct um, feedback and put Batman in the suit. I can, I can be in a mocap suit, which is a super tight thing. Everything's on show. And I can get I can get me put on a Batman rig and I can run around as Batman like yeah. instantly. It's, yeah. a it's a really good tool. Because the connection between Scarecrow and Batman here, like if Batman was on his feet, this would just be a one hit scenario. But directing a shot like this to kind of get these very unusual emotional connections between these characters, I mean, there just must be so much work that goes into creating just a shot like this. And the game is full of them. Absolutely, yeah. And you want a low shot. You want to you want to feel like Scarecrow yeah, yeah. is this Im impending, imposing presence. Yeah. You know, he's a, he's the guy who's in charge of the whole show here. Yeah. You know, he's the puppet master. Yeah. Let's keep going. You will bring death to all who follow you. And so these are the allies. These are the the individuals who have chosen to team up with Batman when they know the stakes are high. They know they're putting their lives on the line by associating with him. We've got this amazing connection between not just the allies as, as a group, as the Bat family, but also teaming up in combat. We see dual play here, this new feature that we've been talking about recently. From a narrative perspective, what's it like when you've got gameplay and the story just so tightly intertwined like that, Mark? Yeah, it's fantastic now that we're able to bring these ally characters into the gameplay alongside Batman. You can yeah. seamlessly switch between the two characters, whether it's Nightwing, Robin, Catwoman. Um, it's fantastic because you're able to build these relationships not just in the cinematic sequences, yeah. but right through the gameplay, through every aspect of the game. Yeah. You can do some really cool stuff. You can start a beat down on a thug mm -hmm. as one character, change to the other character. The AI guy mm -hmm. finishes the beat down off because you might have seen that there's a thug who's picked up a weapon, he's yeah. become a higher priority target, yes. and you can go and take that guy down. Boom! Let's see some more of that action. Oh, the Batwing, come on. This is something that I'm personally incredibly excited about. We saw Lucius Fox before, and the way that he supports Batman, I think, is just so different to, to all of these other characters in that he's got this R&D machine behind him, and he's just pumping Batman with new gadgetry, new information, and the Batwing delivering that to the Batmobile uh, in the field, upgrading the Batmobile the way that uh, Batman needs it. It just looks so beautiful, right? The design aesthetic, the connection, the cohesiveness between the design of the Batmobile, the design of the Batwing, and then the design of Batman's new suit. They really feel like they've all come from the same person at the same time, thinking about this completely new offensive arsenal that Batman has. 
we see here for the first time, Asriel is back in Arkham Knight. At the end of Batman Arkham City, he'd laid down the prophecy that Dark Days were coming, and now Dark Days are here for sure. What is going on with Asriel? What is this prophecy all about? So obviously, uh, he appeared at the end of Arkham City. He's laid down this prophecy, and now it's coming to fruition. You can see the cities in in ruins, yep. uh, the villains have taken over. Yep. Um, flaming well. bat signal, come on, it says it all! <laughs> did you, was that your concept, or did you work with the concept guys to come up with that? Because we worked with the concept guys. The lines that you is... write and these visuals, they, mm, they just, mm. See, the bat symbol is the way that he gets Batman's attention in right Arkham on. Knight. When you meet him, you'll learn that he sees himself as Gotham's new protector, the new right. guardian. He sees that uh, Gotham needs a new kind of justice, but obviously yeah. Batman's not ready to give up the cow. <laughs> um, <laughs> And it's really up to Batman over the course of the story to figure out whether this guy is friend or foe, whether his motives align with his own. And so the Arkham Knight himself, I mean, this really is such a significant game changer for Batman. This massive military force that he commands really does force Batman to unleash the Batmobile in every respect, right? I mean, the Batmobile as a pursuit vehicle is one thing, but in battle mode, it really is the answer to all of these military units that the Arkham Knight has under his control. And that's it, and Arkham Knight is just one of many villains that are in the city. Yeah. You know, the whole city's been completely, you know, turned upside down. Yeah. Sca Scarecrow's in charge of um, even the Arkham Knight. You know, yeah. the Arkham Knight has his own agenda, he's yeah. got his own plans, but Scarecrow's this kind of puppet master sort of yeah. pulling the strings all over the place. But Batman really needs all of his allies together to be yeah. able to overcome one of his toughest challenges. And a completely original and new character in the Arkhamverse. What was it like writing a completely new character from scratch with no history whatsoever? Well, it was a great opportunity for us to, to really build on the Arkham lore and, and yeah. create our own original character for the first time. Yeah. As you can see here, he's one of Batman's biggest challenges yet. Yeah. He's this incredibly powerful militaristic leader. Yeah. He's got a whole army backing him up. Batman's going to need all of his allies along with the Batmobile to take this guy down. You can see he's mimicking Batman's bat suit here. There's obviously some kind of uh, personal agenda to this. Mm. The way he's styled himself, the way he's taken over the city. It's been a fantastic and challenging mm. time writing this guy, but we've had great fun doing it. Looks awesome. Let's go right through to the end. Before this night is through, that fire will consume you. I love this shot, so good. That is badass, isn't it? Dual play in Predator scenarios as well, this is what you are talking about before, Adam. The Batmobile in action in battle mode. Mm, it's so hot! It is so hot! More dual play. This is you, right? This is one of your That's shots, one Adam. Of my, one of my yeah. favourites. And Catwoman ripping heads off robots. What's the connection there between Catwoman and, and Riddler? So Riddler's, you can see there, he's developed this robot army to defeat Batman. He's realised it's going to take more than just brains. He's going yeah. to need to match him with Brawn as well. Typical um, Riddler style. I love it. Absolutely. He's designed, built, programmed this yeah. entire robot army to take down Batman. And, and Catwoman just rips their heads off. That's her answer to that. Absolutely. And the three men at the end, Batman, Robin and Nightwing, looking over the city that they are sworn to protect, knowing that they are in a serious high stakes fight here. Martin, Adam, thank you so much for that seriously profound insight into the All Who Follow You trailer. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I did. It is seriously hot in here. We'll see you soon. Now, we have had a boatload of questions from the Arkham community and Batman fans out there. So to give you guys the lowdown on the top five questions that we've chosen, I've invited Ian Ball, the lead designer here at Rocksteady Studios, to give you the lowdown on everything about Batman Arkham Knight. Ian, you're under extreme pressure as we're closing out the project. How are you feeling? We're in the final days and it's going like crazy out there. It's hot dang, right? It is. We're so busy. Have you got time for five quick ones? Five quick ones only. Here we go. Question number one from Lelek PL. Can you take out tanks without using the Batmobile? Yes, you can. Batman's got a gadget called the Disruptor, which Boom. he can upgrade. Uh, it allows him to take aim and shoot at these tanks with his Disruptor rifle, mm -hmm. which sabotages their firing mechanism, so when they spot Batman and go to shoot him, they explode. Self-destruction. Self-destruction. Love it. Question number two comes in from Bat Frenzy. You ready? I'm ready. I heard in an interview a long time ago that there was new uses for quickfire gadgets and the Bat Claw in free flow combat. Is that true? It is. One of the things you can do when entering combat, you're gliding in, you see the enemies down below, yep. and you can swoop in firing gadgets while gliding. Sweet. The batarangs, the freeze grenades, yep. the remote electric charge, uh -huh. and also explosive gel. And then when you land, you can even fire or pre-aim yep. the back claw to pull the last guy in and give him a big old clothesline. So you're kind of setting up the fight and then landing the first punch. And then flowing straight, straight into the combat. Come on, that is hot. Dang. Third question comes in from Shawnee70. 
Can we get to skin up from the very start of the game or do we need to play through once to unlock extra skins? You can skin up straight away. Right from the off. Shawnee, you heard it first. Question number four comes in from Carson underscore S. Will there be loading screens when entering interiors from exterior environments? I've not seen any loading screens while I've been playing the game. It's totally seamless. This is what the technical guys have been working on for the last four years, right? Extreme streaming to make sure the entire experience is completely straightforward. No transitions, no loading screens, nothing at all. Gotham City is yours. Seamless streaming. Oh, it's hot. Final question comes in from The Batman 26. Will there be challenge maps or challenge modes for the Batmobile? There's a variety of challenge modes for the Batmobile. You've got the tank combat, where you take on the militia forces. Nice. Uh, you've got the racing challenges, where you're driving through the streets, trying to get the best time, and you've also got the real races. Ian, thanks for your time. You've got to get back to work. I've got to go. Go, go, go. Awesome. So Ian has had to bail and get back in the studio to join the rest of the team, who are all working like crazy, burning the midnight oil in order to finish out Batman Arkham Knight for launch on June 23. Thank you very much to everyone who submitted questions. Those top five guys are gonna be receiving an exclusive Arkham t-shirt from us to show our appreciation. But please keep those questions coming. We will do all we can to answer as many as we can in future episodes of Arkham Insider. Now for Arkham fans right here in the UK, you guys have got an opportunity to see the Batmobile for real at the MCM London Comic Con. Get down there, check it out, stealing the show in battle mode. You are going to love it. That's all we've got time for on Arkham Insider. We will see you on the next episode. But in the meantime, be the Batman.